Hey everybody, Lance Goyke here. Today we're talking about wrist pain during your push-ups. So there can be a lot going on. I've talked about shoulder pain. I've talked about elbow pain. Those are generally more common than wrist pain during push-ups. Maybe wrist pain might be a little more common than elbow pain, but those videos go over some intricate details of rib cage positioning, of core strength, if we want to call it that, um, to use some terms that maybe you are familiar with. And you should definitely watch those because the secret is wrist pain is the same as elbow pain. I still look at it the same way. I still want you to make sure that the things that are near your center of mass are moving really well so that you can transfer forces and not put them into, you can transfer forces into the ground and not into your elbow or into your wrist or into your shoulder. Okay, so watch those because they will help you. Uh, the in that order too by the way shoulder video first elbow video second okay now what else might be going on um wrist pain overloading the wrist joint somehow uh especially if we talk about the stuff we we mentioned in the elbow video where you have some torques and twists going on that can be really common if you're only feeling uh wrist pain on one side rather than the other if you get it on both sides you probably have something more like the first video where i need to make sure that i'm not arching my back and i need to make sure that i'm rounding getting my ribs down turning my abdominal muscles on because those things are going to help my wrist flexors shut off and so instead of having this tension of my wrist pushing into the ground while I'm doing this and compressing my joint while I'm trying to be free and flow and move, I'm going to be able to shut that off and be free and flow and move. Okay, so um, you're, you got to look into keeping the ab tone. I want you to shift your focus away from the wrist and into the outer lower abdominals while you're doing this. Uh, this last little point to uh, talk about. Just look at your hand positioning. I like to have people hands under shoulders. If my hands are way back here and I'm trying to do a push up, as I get to the top, I really, really ask for my wrist to move a lot. You see, like this. Oh yeah, that doesn't feel good. Okay, I'm putting my <laughs> my joint in a locked position there, and I'm compressing it just with my body weight, not necessarily with uh, even outrageous muscular tone or poor technique or anything. I'm just compressing it. So some people can get away with that. If you're trying to do stuff like that, uh, you know, some gymnastics type stuff. But uh, what I would generally recommend is if one, if you're trying to get your gymnastic stuff, I'm going to do a video series on this, but you have to progress through it. You have to be very particular about it because your body just isn't ready for it. So you have to take tiny, tiny steps. Um, try moving your hands under your shoulders and see if that helps. Man, that's a good one.